Hello Scorpio, it's Milady from Milady's Wait here and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of July 10th through 17th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Um, I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, and subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. I really appreciate you guys for choosing me. Um, I, I don't know if I said make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. And uh, if you don't or didn't, make sure you subscribe. Okay, let's get this show on the road, Scorpio. What's going on for Scorpio? Scorpio, 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 July 10th through 17th, 2017. July 10th through 17th, 2017. Scorpio love reading. What's in store for Scorpio? Mm -hmm. That's not a good start. So there's a, some letting go going on. Okay. I don't know if you letting go of something, Scorpio, or somebody letting go of you. But since it's in this area, I feel like it's you letting go of something. Okay, Ooh. so this may be a job or this could be a relationship where there's a power struggle. You just like, I can't win. Could be both for some of you. Mm. I feel like somebody can't win with honesty. They telling the truth about everything and I don't know, somebody... What is this honesty card about? Because what is this honesty card about for the Scorpio? Okay. Okay, so what is the power wave, wave power card about for the Scorpio? What is this power wave card about for the Scorpio? Mm. So I'm feeling like here somebody either thinks you do or knows you have a secret uh yeah, somebody accusing you of having the secret attached to your job. Only thing you'll care about is it might be money related, but I'm thinking it might be an ex. Somebody feeling like you dealing with an ex at your job. Okay, even though you being honest with the person you with and letting them know you love them they feel like you are not and you sick of it you ready to let go wow so this being here is making me feel like you're not sleeping with nobody at work but also i'm feeling like you might not be sleeping with nobody at home either but this is specifically not sleeping with nobody at work Mm, of course, that's a wise decision. But I feel like lately you've been feeling like they already think I'm doing it. Might as well. That's the feeling. Like, you're being wise, but you're thinking about unwise decisions. Okay, so you got a little bit of baggage going on. What is this baggage? I already know what the baggage is. It's, you might have dated somebody at your job before. And that's just causing all kinds of disruption in your your love life. Mm. It looks like y'all gonna make it past this little hiccup. It's basically like a everything happens for a reason. It's gonna make y'all stronger. What is this baggage about? I don't know. This baggage may... I mean, it's on your side, but I feel like it's for your your partner. I mean, I think you're a real giving person. Like, you don't care. It's not called using to me if I gave it to you, you know? So, I feel like your partner feels like your ex-partner at work or somebody used to deal with, they feel like that you're giving them gifts and they're using them. Because I'm feeling like... You told them about all the stuff you used to do for this person, and now they like counting your money to make sure you ain't doing it. You know, oh, it's fifteen dollars missing. They only have seven dollars for lunch. That kind of stuff. 
uh, wow. Okay, so this, like, schizophrenic thing that they going through is making them not want you. Maybe they don't want you because you're not fighting no more. Like, I'm not about to do this. You know, I'm not doing nothing wrong, and you're not going to keep accusing me. Like, you may have in the past, but right now you're not. All right. Mm. Possibly dealing with a Leo. Somebody is being patient, kind. And, yeah, it's going to be peaceful in your home in a little bit. So I wouldn't even be mad about whatever is going on here. All right, what's going on July 10th through 17th? July 10th through 17th for the Scorpio. July 10th through 17th, 2017. Okay, so maybe this ex stole some money from you in the past or something. <sighs> okay, so it's a lot of balancing and money going on here. All right, so you just might be messing with a Libra or a Leo. Maybe it's just some kind of air sign. All right, so let's read this. But it seemed like somebody trying to balance their money. Oh, so maybe some of you are, like, trying to... All right, let me just read this book. Justice, justice. Where is justice? Uh, a decision will be made. Justice will be served. You must look at all information before... Decision is reached. You may face a legal action. It is time to that disputes will be paid. Hmm. So this is basically saying like if your partner is right, they're gonna get what they want. If you're right, you're gonna get what you want. So it's like whoever's wrong is about to feel it. All right. So we got the page of coins, and it's reversed. So, there's going to be some terrible news in the letter about money. Maybe somebody about to get denied from a college or loans or something about to get shut down. Well, it's a lot of money about to go out. Or not come in as, as it usually do. I don't know, that makes me feel like for the the few of you where this is a job situation where you're quitting your job. Okay, so the, the quitting your job because you, you're being honest about somebody you love there. So you love somebody for your job. This is not connected to the relationship story. So you love somebody where, with your, at your job and I feel like you're going to let go of your job to be with that person. But I feel like it's going to get you in trouble now. Okay? That's like a whole nother story. Alright, but back to this six of coins. Six of coins, six of coins. Alright, it's upright. It says, you may receive unexpected money, a time of economic gain. If your hand is out to give, your hand will be out to receive. So... There's a lot of give and taking in this relationship, but I feel like you do most of the giving because I feel like you might have the most money at this moment in time. All right, so we got the strength card. All right, this says, now is the time for great strength. However, use patience wisely to keep achieve your goals. You are above your enemies. Do not let, do not overreact. Confront any bad situation now. 
So it's basically come out and tell them like, hey, I don't like this. I'm getting ready to go, but I feel like you already did this. But if you haven't, just like, okay, either change your ways or I'm out of here. Same thing with the job. Like, okay, well, that situation, I think you need to leave before you get caught. Because I feel like it's going to cause a whole lot of legal issues. Yeah, I'm seeing like, uh, you promoted her or him because of this and that and that. So, that's somewhere you need to run from. But other than that, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Thank everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great week.